So Lucy from Weight Watchers is back. You're the food editor. And this is one of my favourite segments. I love when you come onto the show because you show us how to transform some of our favourite recipes, all those naughty recipes that have lots of butter, yeah. lots of cream, and change it into something that's a little bit healthier, mm. that's good for us, and it still tastes delicious, which is really important with food. So what are we doing today, Lucy? We're doing hot cakes with ricotta and blueberries. So that's one of like mm. a favourite cafe recipe. Usually we have it with lots of maple syrup. I love it with ice cream, maybe some mm. mascarpone, a bit more sugar, icy sugar on top, lots of buttermilk. Yeah. But none of that today. But you, you can have that when you're on Weight Watchers. Okay. And so, you know, you can have it on the weekends. If you go out for brunch to a restaurant, mm -hmm. you can order that and it can be fitted into the program. But today we're going to show you how to do a healthier version, which you can have every day if you want to. I think you'll be pleased with the end result. So the first thing we're going to do is put two thirds of a cup of wholemeal flour. Okay. Sifted mm -hmm. with okay. one teaspoon of baking powder. So wholemeal flour, why do we use this instead of... Well, it's higher in fibre, Okay. Which you can just tip that in now. Okay. Tip it back in. Yep. And it's better for you and it's great because it also helps you feel fuller for longer than right. if it was just plain flour. So What's then next? We, well, we've got uh, two tablespoons of caster sugar. Mm -hmm. I mean, normally in a pancake batter you might add a bit more sugar, so we've just reduced yes. the sugar okay. a little bit. And I guess we're having honey and blueberries to finish it yeah. off with, so you don't need as much sugar in it. Yeah, yeah. so it's got plenty of sweetness. Mm -hmm. And in here we've got some skim milk and an egg beaten up. Okay. So instead of using full fat milk, and you know, you don't even notice the difference yeah, between whether it's full fat milk or mm -hmm. skim milk. So. You know, you can often reduce the fat of a recipe mm. and it still just tastes as yummy. So here you just mix it up. And you've just the changed whisk. two things and it still looks exactly the same as a normal pancake yeah. batter. So what do we do next? We... Well, we, now we cook them. You let that rest for about 10 minutes. Okay. And that so just helps that, the batter. Yep, just like a normal of, batter. Yep. Yeah. And I get some oil spray. Yep. And it's really important with oil spray, when you spray it in the pan, you take it away from the heat source. It's quite inflammable and then you can <laughs> get some flames. You don't want to burn thing. the hair off. No. <laughs> so we put a quarter of a cup of the batter in and probably cook two at a time. Yeah. This That's great because you know exactly how much you're making because it's all portioned out. Yeah. yeah. And you get even sized pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that we're doing pancakes or hot cakes today. I know for a fact, me and my friends, we go out to breakfast so much at cafes. It's such a phenomenon now. And so do I. I yeah. go out for brunch every Sunday. Brunch is a, I do is a, a big walk with my girlfriends yep. and then we have brunch yep. every Sunday. Yep. And you can have hot cakes in a restaurant yep. every week if you want to. Yeah. When you're on Weight Watchers. And there's also lots of other things that you can order if yep. you if you, you know, want to be you know, you can have eggs and bacon and yep. you know, there's so many great things on the menu that are healthy. Yeah. And exactly. it's really important to have treats mm -hmm. when you're living a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You can't just cut out all treats. You have to be able to have some fun food as well. So I'm going to turn these over. Yeah, so they're the... ready. Oh, perfect. Ooh. They're gorgeous. They're and then the next day, I guess, if you want pancakes again, you can do this version, which is a really healthy version. Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking at what you're putting in here and you've got wholemeal flour, mm. you've got skim milk, you've got a tiny bit of sugar at the moment. I mean, I'm thinking this is, this is very good yeah. for you. So those are done now. Right. So this recipe serves Two. Mm -hmm. One for me, one for you. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to put some ricotta cheese. Just a nice little spoonful. I love ricotta. On there. Absolutely love ricotta. And I actually then... thought ricotta wasn't that good for you, but you're saying that it's not. Oh no, it's not naughty. Great. <laughs> Even the low fat and the, the full fat versions are not actually that different. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of honey, honey drizzled on the top. Ooh, I love maple syrup. Great. So you can easily yeah. use that I instead. Love maple. Yeah, maple. Mm. Oh, that looks fantastic. I'm ready to try that. Okay. Let's see if I can taste the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so get a bit They're nice and fluffy too, yeah. which is really what you're looking for in a hot cake. And when you're cooking the hot cakes, you know when you need to turn them over because they're, the little bubbles rise to the surface and they start to pop. So that's when you know that they're ready to turn over. They're light and How's fluffy. That? Mm, that's really, really mm. beautiful. And that mm. actually tastes cafe style, so mm. I'm very impressed they're with that. They're really light, they're lovely. Mm. Thanks, Luce. Mm. It's a pleasure. <laughs> And 
And when you have sugar, it's really good to 